Hi, and welcome to this ABC vascular ultrasound case study on calcified occlusions of the posterior tibial artery, tips for ultrasound operators. Two are the main criteria that we use to determine the presence of an arterial occlusion, direct visualization of occlusive thrombus and absence of colon Doppler flow within the artery. The posterior tibial artery is a superficial structure at the level of the medium malleolus, therefore we can use a linear array to identify such artery and to visualize the presence of atherosclerotic disease throughout the posterior tibial artery. In order to improve the visualization of such atherosclerotic disease in the posterior tibial artery, we can use at the level of the distal posterior tibial artery a linear array with higher frequency. This will improve the lateral resolution of the posterior tibial artery and a better visualization of the occlusive thrombus noted throughout the posterior tibial artery. Looking at this video, we can visualize in a better way the presence of completely obstructive atherosclerotic disease noted throughout the posterior tibial artery with evidence of mixture of calcification. Such transducer is very useful in determining the very distal posterior tibial artery as these lie very superficially under the skin. In order to confirm the presence of an occlusion, we can use color Doppler flow. We must use a very low color flow scale as represented in this video in order to detect any low velocities. As shown in this video, while there is color Doppler flow filling the satellite posterior tibial veins, there is no color Doppler flow within the posterior tibial artery, confirming the presence of an arterial occlusion. Thanks for joining ABC Vascular Ultrasound.